Hello, I'm Keith Ford. And I'm Paul Levy, and today we've got another gun from the vault. Uh, right here we have an M3 carbine yes. with an M2 night vision optic. Uh, pretty <laughs> fancy stuff here, Keith. Uh, yeah. We look at it now and it seems kind of crude and clunky, but uh, late 40s, uh, yeah. early 1950s, 50s. this is state of the art right here. Yeah. So uh, night vision was a new concept then. Uh, Germans were the first to start mm -hmm. experiment, experimenting with the uh, idea. Uh, and they used a scope called the Vampire. It looked actually very similar. It had a very large uh, IR uh, emitter on the top. Uh, and they also used them on some of their Panther tanks. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first time it was actually ever used uh, in combat uh, was by the Germans. Uh, and then the US developed uh, this setup in the, well, really late in the war. And I, I believe some were used in Okinawa uh, to some effect. Uh, range on this setup right here is about 75 to 125 yards. You really uh, it, Pretty close not, when you think of night vision today and you think in the movies when you see the green or even thermals, mm -hmm. everything's crisp, not so much with this. This is uh, super early, it's dim, uh, you need this large uh, infrared emitter to actually get some usable light. Yeah. Definitely not starlight uh, cable. No. Yeah. Uh, so very early on, and, and I found it interesting, uh, if you look at the German images of their optic setup, it looks very similar. You wonder if there was some, I don't know, espionage or some maybe some like borrowing of ideas yeah. there, which is all right, uh, in the, <laughs> considering the circumstances. Transfer of technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this is an M2. This is the same setup as the M1 type scope where the IR emitter is down here. They later moved this to the top mm -hmm. a little bit uh, easier to handle. This is pretty unwieldy right here. And then you have your battery pack. So you got your uh, lead acid battery uh, to lug along, along with all your other gear. I'm sure they didn't make you carry anything else. No, uh, uh, no. But a pretty unique uh, setup. Uh, they did add uh, a conical flash hider here too, uh, mainly to protect the optics, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, like any night vision, well, especially early night vision, uh, if you get daylight, any bright light can damage uh, the optics themselves. So you have to protect that as much as possible. Um, so. I, I can't imagine this was uh, super well liked for those that had to lug them around, yeah. especially during the day, but I'm sure those circumstances where they were used, especially in defensive positions, uh, they were quite invaluable. What's yeah. your take on this, Keith? This is way ahead of its time. I mean, just the scope itself and then packing a big old huge battery, they were, they were on to something, but just didn't have the technology at the time. But just, just thinking that they were doing this, though, was, was cool. Yeah, you think about the time frame, 1944 or 45, yeah. like this is what we were working with. And it's kind of funny to me, uh, some of those History Channel shows where they've got German wonder weapons we and all that stuff. And like, nobody ever talks about this sort of thing. And this is pretty sci-fi, all things yeah. considered. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I mean, you've got a vertical grip right here yeah. and for your light or emitter. And with this, this battery pack, because these are glass cells inside oh, of here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You can, this thing weighs about 20 pounds. We can show it right here. See these little vials or tubes in here that are glass. So they were kind of fragile. Yeah. They were probably tempered glass, but still though, that's something that would be kind of fragile if it hits just right. But the, the idea of it though was they were on to something big. Yep. Pretty neat stuff. So that's the M2 night vision setup on an M3 carbine. Thanks to Rock Island Auction for letting us take a look at this setup. And we'll see you next time when we get another gun from the vault.